Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hey, I'm Patricia. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited for today's video. It's gonna be an entire desk tour. I've been meaning to do this for a minute. I know I did previous desk tours, but this is gonna be my most updated one and I'm gonna be explaining where I got everything in my desk setup and also like this little extra area right here in my bookshelf. So yes, let's get into it. All right, so let's start off with the most asked question that I get a lot, which is what desk do I have? They're both from Ikea and they're literally the same desk. One is just shorter and the other one is longer and i literally just like put them right next to each other to make like that l-shaped desk the ikea desks honestly get the job done and it gives that simple sleek look those are the desks that i have now let's get started with everything else the gaming chair that i have is g tracing and it's from walmart this is in the pink colorway i absolutely love it i know a lot of people talk crap about gaming chairs but you know i feel like it gets the job done and i really like these cushions that they have and there's also one down here you can adjust the arms and also lean back. Honestly, do not have a complaint about this chair. And I'm a very simple gal to please. And now the star of the show, my PC. So I got a pre-built from RGB Custom PC and I absolutely love it. I honestly forgot all the specs that I got, so I will be putting it on the screen. And then I got my little Kirby here. And when you open up the case, you see this cute little Karomi Funko Pop. She runs games perfectly fine, editing and exporting videos with ease. And yes, I stand her. Recently had a little blip though because the SSD randomly died, but I I easily got that repaired at Micro Center. So yeah, besides that, I haven't ran into any issues with the PC. Enough about the PC, let's get into the monitors. These are both HP monitors. I got them from Micro Center. I believe the specific name is HP Gaming Monitor 27X. And as for the Hertz, it's gonna be 165. I honestly have no complaints about the monitors. They have never failed me throughout this entire time. And we have these two cute vegetable sunny angels just chilling on my monitor. And yes, literally this is like the burst of serotonin that I need for whenever I'm editing videos because they're so cute. This is Echo Gear slash One Piece Wano collab and I love it so much. It's so cute. It has the pastel pinks and also like a vibrant pink and I love these accent colors of like blue and yellow. It gives the Wano feel most definitely. It came with various keycaps and you see this like light function pattern. There's so many different patterns that you can choose from. Out of all the keyboards I have, I think this is probably my favorite. As for the switches, this is the pink Sakura switches. And if you want some ASMR. And as for the cable, this is gonna be the glorious coil cable. I got this from Micro Center and I love it. It's so cute and thick. I chose white because it's the safer option, but I saw some really cute ones on Etsy that I may be tempted to splurge on, you know? But as of right now, we're sticking with the white one. And as for my mouse, I got the glorious, the wireless one. I love all the various colors and I believe on the glorious app, you can have like a solid color or you can have like variations like mine is now. And then I really like the wireless feature like it comes in handy so much next item i want to highlight is my keyboard mat this is from razor and i got it off amazon it does light up along the brim of the mat but i did unplug it just because i don't know i don't know why i unplugged it one random day and i just never plugged it back in but overall i love this mat i love the gray color and it just blends in very seamlessly with the overall look and feel of my setup and now onto these cute little lights that i have in my setup i got these from color light it comes with various different lighting options that you can choose from so as for this desk rod my boyfriend's dad actually made this for me, but I got the blueprints, measurements, sizes, etc. from Amazon and I just showed that to him. Next item is this stream deck. I know you guys are probably like, wait, why isn't this lit up? I haven't set it up yet. I got this as a gift like forever ago and I just never had the time to set it up. So that's what I'm going to be doing this month, getting it all situated for when I do decide to stream. Okay, speaking of streaming, if you guys would like to check out my Twitch, it's at Patricia Sucks. I know I haven't streamed in like forever, way over a year. I'm definitely 
definitely gonna get back into it in 2024 so yeah go follow up and hopefully i get to chat with you guys next time i go live the next item i have on my desk setup is this elgato face cam i got this for when i stream and from when i checked it out in obs the quality is pretty good you just need like good lighting i'm all stream ready i cannot make any more excuses <laughs> and as for these lights on my wall this is from color light and you can change the color variations slash options on the app or you can change it manually and as for cable management this is what we're working with right here so everything i got here i got from amazon this is my first time actually doing like cable management for my desk setup and it was a bit challenging that's why i feel like it looks kind of on the messier side but trust me, like it looks way better than before. But if y'all have any tips how I can get this better organized, please let me know. Maybe I'll take my cable management to the next level. Now for the area behind my monitors. I know it's kind of messy, but you know, that's out of sight, out of mind. I do have this Logitech light that I was using during the time when I was streaming. And then to show some additional lighting behind my monitors, I like to turn this light on. And I do have two of these. The other one is right here. It's kind of sunny right now, so you can't really see how vibrant it is. It's various different color options and patterns that you can choose from it really just sets the mood for whenever you're gaming or just on your computer watching a show so that's basically everything that i have on this corner of my desk setup now let's move on to the part that i feel like you guys have been waiting for so this is the HyperX mic. I actually love this so much. This isn't plugged in right now, but you can change the colors on here. You can change the volume slash bass here. And if you ever want to mute, you just click this and then you'd be done. So I believe I got this from Amazon. So I did plug it in because I wanted you guys to see the different color variations. As you can see, it's turning from blue, green, purple. It's gonna do like red, pink, etc. It's just really cute. And as for the mic stand, this is like your most basic mic stand. I got it from Amazon. It's honestly more on the cheaper side, which I appreciate because you don't always need like expensive items. The cheap stuff will literally get the job done too. So let's start off with this little cute corner that we have. This plastic display. And I just feel like it's really cute if you have a lot of things that you want to display, such as myself, because my desk setup is definitely more on the clay side so this helps a lot next we have my razor headset and i bought these cat ear attachments separately so you're able to take it on and off i got these from amazon i believe and for the headphone stand this is also from amazon now this little guy i've also gotten a lot of questions about this probably one of my favorite items in my setup but yes this is the dvoom ditto and i got this from amazon you can display these cute little graphics it has so many different options that you could choose from and it also acts as a speaker as you can see you can put the volume up and down brightness up down i do have this candle on my setup that smells so heavenly from diptyque i like to light this whenever i'm in my setup and i'm like editing or i'm trying to relax and like read manga or game again another setting angel i have these so you're gonna see a lot of them but this is specifically from their winter wonderland series it's so cute now in this area this is just a bin that i put a lot of random stuff so this is hand sanitizer more hand sanitizer oh my god i have like four hand sanitizers in here yeah there's literally another one in there i don't want to take it out and then i have some perfume samples from lilabo and the last items that i have in that little basket is just some chapstick we have glossier we have dr bronner's and this is just some hello kitty ones but yeah i like to put stuff in here that's like quick to grab we have another candle. I don't light this one. This is more like a decorative candle. And it is a cloud and it's so cute. And then I do have more chapstick just laying around. It's just so cute. I don't even use these. I just like the packaging. And I got these at Ulta. Next, we have this remote, which is linked to this speaker on the wall. This is a portable CD player, and I mainly use it for my K-pop CDs. This is from Amazon, and you pay for what you get. I mean, the quality isn't like top tier, but it's still pretty good. And then again, we have another Sunny Angel. They're everywhere. Next, we have some Miffy nail polish. Similar to the chapstick, I like to have some of my lip glosses on the table just for quick grabs, you know? This one is in pink, and then this one is in rosewood. And the last main item that I keep underneath that little acrylic display area is this label printer. I got this in the green colorway and the paper is also green. So I love this. I use this for whenever I go on vacations and I want to label some of my toiletries. It definitely comes in handy. 
The last item in this little area is this new jeans K-pop album that I have. And it acts as like a little purse, which I love. It just looks really cute on my desk setup. So I have some hand cream right here. And the other stuff that's in here is the stuff that came with the K-pop album. Like we have stickers, we have photo cards, photo album, and like track list, etc. And again, I just like to use this for display purposes and storage. Next, we can move on to the shelf. I guess we can start off with this Sunny Angel display that I have. And I did warn you guys in advance that you're going to see a lot of Sunny Angels. So this is where I keep majority of them. I got this from Amazon and as for the stepping stool display, I got this from Daiso and as for the Sunny Angels, I get them from the Sunny Angels website, Kino Kunia and Postman Books and this is my collection so far, which I'm literally so proud of. As for this shelf, I got it from Ikea. I'm gonna put the exact name on the screen. At first, I didn't like these little hooks that they had. I wanted just like a regular floating shelf, but I feel like it adds so much character now. As for these cute little knickknacks, this is a Miffy blind box and I got it from Kino Kunia and I got this blind box from Pop Mart. As for the manga behind it, I either got it from Barnes & Noble or Books A Million. And now for this item right here that's displaying my YouTube subs and this cute little cat and various other screens. This is a tidbit and you can get it from the tidbit website. It has like various screens that you can put up like it shows the time, date, what music you're listening to. Next, I've gotten a lot of comments about this bee. So I got this Minecraft bee from Target and it's so cute. And like it has this flicker option and then you can just turn it off. But I like to just keep it on. So this plant was actually gifted to me. This plant is so cute. Like, I love how it's just draping over. As for these monkey blind boxes that we have, I got this from Kiko Goods or Kika Goods. And again, it just looks really cute with the leaves. And then I do have this cute Kirby neon sign above my desk setup. But whenever I turn it on on camera, it just looks so funky. And this is how it looks. Sorry for the lines that's showing up on camera. And I just like it so much because it brightens up the place. For these cute prints that I have on my wall, I got these from Shutterfly, but I found the actual images on Pinterest. And another comment that I get a lot of questions on is this board right here. So I got this from Ikea and it's called the pegboard. And then you can also buy like these cute attachment pieces where you can decorate it and put like various other things on there. I got these little bins for my keycap. As for these cute figures that we have, these are called Hironos and they're from Pop Mart. Oh my god, you guys. Same thing with the figure that I have here. This is also from Pop Mart. But this one is called a Skull Panda. And this one is actually pretty cool because it lights up. What? Yes, I love her so much. And she's just dreamy. I have my AirPod Maxes here. I got the actual AirPod Maxes from Best Buy. And as for this cute little covering, these were gifted to me for Christmas by my friend Jade. And you can get these on Amazon. Um, the next item is probably these airpods this is like the first series like it's not even noise cancellation and for the my melody case this is from amazon and for this cute pochita and zoro keychain i got these from anime conventions again we have another sunny angel this is a hipper one so it's attached to it and then we have my nintendo switch this is the first series nintendo switch and then i had like this cute green cover on it but then i took it off but i kept the cute little thumb grip and then we have my jungkook photo card Look at him, godly man. I'm sorry, Yoongi, you got some competition, buddy. This is another Sunny Angel. This is from this flower series. This little gadget that I have here. This is like a cute little portable stereo. And yeah, I just like the greenery. I feel like it matches my setup pretty well. Okay, and that's my pegboard, guys. And now for this little corner of my desk setup, which is probably my absolute favorite. I get a lot of questions asking me like, where did you get this? What is it? Originally, I was going to get this on Amazon, but one, it was expensive. Two, I saw some of the structures of the options that they provided just weren't that good. Like, it didn't look sturdy enough. So I asked my boyfriend's dad to build me one based off of the measurements that I got from Amazon. And this is what he whipped up. He actually bodied this. Like, I love it so much. It just holds everything that I need it to hold, you know? Yeah. And I like the overall look and feel of it. It has a lot of, like, different nooks and crannies where I can put lots of different stuff in it and now let's get into everything that's on this book nook so this is my Hatsune Miku cup sitter figure that I got from an anime convention and I actually like to seat her right here because she just looks so cute right next we have this cute little gadget I know a lot of people call it among us it definitely looks like an among us so this is another product from Bivoom and it just has all these cute different light options that you can use to give your setup that pop of color 
As for all the manga on here and over there, I either got it from Books A Million or Barnes & Noble. Now let's get into here. This is where I put my washi tape and I got this acrylic piece from Timu or Temu and I just like how it fits underneath there perfectly. And these are just some more storage bins. This is a blue one and this is a green one. And I just like to use these for like storage. Look at all these cables, you guys. And these are all my remotes. And then I do have a box cutter that's quick and easy to grab. Next, we have this Hello Kitty notebook. I like to have this so I can grab it quick and easy once again. Like if I'm working and I need to jot something down real quick. Or like if I'm talking on the phone and like, hey, can you write this down? Yeah, like I got you. Let me grab my fancy handy dandy Hello Kitty notebook. And I have this BTS Butter album. And it has all these photos of BTS. As for this, this is another figure from Pop Mart. It's a skull panda. And I got this from Tesla Life. As for this plant, it's obviously a fake plant. I got it from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. One of those empty ramune honestly i did not like the lychee flavor but the bottle was so cute and i was like i'm gonna keep this just because it's that cute and we have this cute little kirby i got this when i went to la we went to little tokyo and we used that little gacha machine and then we have this cute little chopper if you know me you know i love choppers so i had to keep them on me and i just got my glasses right here for this clock i got this from amazon little pen holder i got the cup from barnes and noble i love this cup so much and all these pens I got from various locations, just like your regular, regular K-pop store, stationery store. And right here, you can see I have like a little stationery section. I have some photo cards right here, erasers, notepad, and I have some stickers, these cute little crock pins, stickers. Right here, I have a bunch of washi tape and then a stapler and a notepad. And all the stationary items that you've seen. I got it from Stationary Pal. Cute mini calendar. Oh my, I love it so much. I was looking for it everywhere. And I finally found it on Timu. Similar to the other ones, this is again from Devoom. And this is called the Zoe. And this is just another Kirby that I got from the Gacha Machine. We got some more Hirono figures here. And moving on, we have this little pen area. And I keep some lotion on me. And then some photos of me and my boyfriend. <laughs> And on my wall, I have this CD mirror. And underneath it are all my plushies. And I got the bin from Target. As for this storage unit that I have underneath my desk, I got that from Ikea. And it literally stores so much. I have to organize it, but I'll show you guys how it looks. So as for this bookshelf, I got this from Ikea. It's called the Billy Bookshelf. And I feel like every person on Manga Talk, Book Talk, they have this bookshelf in either white or black. And that speaks for itself. On the first shelf, I have my keyboards. The first one is from Echo Gear. And then the second one is from Yunzi, and it's the macaroon one. Just to accompany my K-pop albums, we have my BTS Funko Pop. We have Sailor Moon. We have Rem. Next shelf is where the manga begins. So we have Goodnight Pun Pun, Chainsaw Man, Death Note, Kaiju Number 8, Spy Fan. Family. And these are my first Nendroids ever, and I feel like it was only right to get Denji and Power. This is the third row on my bookshelf. We have the entirety of Hunter x Hunter, and then we have Hell's Paradise, and one random Sakamoto Days. And then we have more Funko Pops, and then we got these cute Hunter Hunter figures. On the fourth shelf, we have Chopper, and for the manga, we have Witch Hat, Atelier, Atelier, however you pronounce it. My Happy Marriage, we have a Japanese version of Signs of Affection, My Dress Up Darling, Blue Spring Ride, SP Baby, Orimiya, Apothecary Diaries, and Blue Lock. And then we have these cute little figures right here. And for the fifth row, we just have a bunch of Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer. And of course, figures to accompany both. And then we do have one shelf underneath, but it's literally storage and it looks so messy. So I'm not going to show you that. All right, you guys, so that is my desk setup as a whole with an addition of my bookshelf and also my plushie collection. If you made it this far into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful in any way, especially if you're in the progress of upgrading your desk setup and not knowing what vibe you wanna go or like how you wanna decorate it. I hope this was able to help. And if there was something that I forgot to mention where I got it from, please feel free to comment down below and I got you because we do not gatekeep around here, okay? Like. I never believed in gatekeeping and it's not going to start. So I think that's it for this week's video. I'll see you guys next week.